I'm waiting. I'm, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not trying to be funny, but I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting. I, I said it on Saturday that nothing's not, gonna happen, right? I said on Saturday that this whole craziness about 25th December, the world is shutting down, the world is doing this. The world. I, I told you guys, you see, and I told you we haven't gotten the memo down here yet. So, I mean, it is what it is. We, you don't need some eclipse and some manifestations in the cosmic. You don't need some alignment in the cosmic before something happens to you. It is a choice that we make every day, every single day. If you want to be awoken consciously, you can do that. Your consciousness can just come alive every single day. You don't need something to just, you don't need something to move up in the skies and and um, all of a sudden something happens. Oh, don't, don't get me wrong. I know, I know the scripture talks about the stars and the light and the sky being science. We'll come back to that. But that wasn't what they were talking about. Um, so according to um, the 21st prediction and we in the 22nd nothing is happening yet so you see what I said we know what we talk about and I'm just I'm, I'm not gloating or anything no, I'm not doing that I don't get excited when some somebody gets it wrong it's just don't say what you don't know that that's just me don't don't put it out there that you can do something you know something you have the power to do something you have the ability to say something that you know you cannot do that that's sad that's that's just ridiculous say what you know if you are reading somebody's research say what i'm reading is not mine what i'm teaching is not mine it's for somebody say what you know say what you've been given to say and just stay out of things that you have no idea of you see and i think we'll all be better but Listen, let me come back to darkness and I want to talk about darkness and the fact that all of us are afraid of that. Okay, let me say, well, not all of us are afraid of darkness, but majority of us used to be afraid of the dark and we used to think that, oh, darkness is evil, darkness is the devil, the devil is out to get you, you know, and darkness represents demons and spirits and powers and all of that. And last week I told you darkness is not evil. If anything, I told the creator is darkness. Darkness is just nothing, emptiness. Out of emptiness, everything existed. Without emptiness, nothing would, would exist. Aquaba, Aquaba, Aquaba. Listen, welcome guys once again to the Melanated Truth channel and my name is Kojo Bento and I always get excited. I'm always humbled. And I, the other day I was thinking, I was like, wait a minute. It's been a minute since I said thank you to the powers that be. So now I want to say thank you to the creator, our father, who makes everything possible. I want to say thank you to the powers that be. Thank you to our mother, the earth. Thank you to the powers of the air, the powers of the earth, the powers of the water dimension, the powers of the fire dimension. We say thank you to Esi, Ajo, Abne, Aoku, Yahweh, Fi, Amen. I want to say a big thank you to Naofi, Jaiman, and Nafi, Jaiman, for always supporting. Thank you to you. Especially those of you that are just subscribed to the channel, please. Uh, we have the WhatsApp community page. All you have to do is just click in, in, in the link and it will bring you straight into the page and we, we take it from there. But listen, we are in a great place as a family in the sense that I cannot conversate on some of the things that come on in the background, but we're in a great place and exciting times are ahead. Listen, exciting times are ahead. And if you are in this family, then you better make sure you take your seat because um, things are happening. That's all I can say for now. Things are happening. And the things that are happening behind the scenes will be manifested in the light. Without, with, Like when I say light, you know what I mean. I don't mean that because it's like light. will be brought to plane. will be brought to light. Everybody's going to know it. So um, I'm excited. I'm really excited for, for everything that is going on behind the scenes. And I want to say thank you to you. You make it happen. You are the reason why we are where we are. You are the reason why we do what we do. We are the, you're the reason why we've come this far. Without you, the subscriber, without you, the family member. And, you know, I, I'm a family saying type of guy. I don't, I don't um, pay much attention to it. I just love family. So, welcome. I'm glad you're in the family. Please, if you haven't hit the link to bring you... We're gonna vet you, right? So don't don't be upset when the vetting process goes on. It just protects all of us. It's necessary that we vet all of us. I'm I'm vetted all the time. Everybody is being vetted. So please don't be offended when you come into the community and you get vetted. It's just a process to ensure that we are our own people. If you understand what I'm saying. 
So I want to continue what I started last week. Darkness is simply means, or darkness simply means nothing. Darkness is just absolute silence, absolute quietness. Nothing is happening. That's darkness. Question is, have you ever seen nothing hurt anybody before? If I sit here and I do nothing, I just sit here. I'm meditating. Would I hurt anybody? Would I disrespect anybody? Would I break anybody? Nothing is silence. Nothing is stillness. Nothing that's not hurt anybody. Nothing that's not harm anybody. As a matter of fact, nothing is the absolute peace. Nothing is absolute peace. When you wake up in the morning, you just stay in your house. Will trouble find you? You don't do anything. You don't call anybody. You don't engage in anything. You just sit still. Will trouble find you? And I already said nothing is darkness. So darkness is absolute peace. Have you ever really trusted and sat in the dark before? Have you ever done that? When you sit in the dark, you realize that everything comes down. Everything becomes quiet. Everything becomes silent around you. That's absolute peace. So if there is a prince of peace, then it means, what it literally means is that this prince is a prince of darkness. Anyway, I, I know that will mess with you. I don't want to go there. But nothing is absolute peace. Nothing is darkness. We need to understand that nothing can absolutely be created or destroyed. Nothing can absolutely be created or destroyed. So when I sit here right now and I sit still, what happens? I'm creating nothing. I'm creating stillness. I'm creating quietness. I just created nothing. I'm doing nothing. Right? The minute I begin to move, I'm destroying the nothing that I just created. Let's paint another picture. When the earth is there and the earth is not disturbed, nobody is digging through the earth. The earth is at peace. Nothing is happening. It's absolute peace. So the earth is attained nothingness. The minute somebody goes to drill, cut, dig out the earth, something is happening. So you are destroying the nothing that has been created. You get where I'm going with this? The thing that are manifested in the cosmos is nothing compared to the things that are not manifested. If you say percentage-wise, and it will shock you that the things that actually manifest in the cosmos is not even up to 10%. Not even up to 10%. I mean, the things that we have not yet seen, the things that have not yet unveiled, is insanely more, 90 percent more, 90 plus percent more than the things we see around. So everything that is visible to you now is just a tip of the iceberg when you consider the entire cosmos. Don't forget, the entire cosmos is sitting in nothing, in silence, in darkness. You, you get it, don't worry. If the Creator created everything out of nothing, then I want to ask a simple question. What realm does everything exist in? You got a question? If the creator created everything out of nothing, out of nothing everything came. So you see everything, you know everything, you, you touch everything, right? What realm does everything sit in? Are you getting it now? It simply means that Everything is sitting in nothing. It's beautiful, right? Everything. Don't forget I said nothing is just darkness, stillness, silence. No, nothing is happening. So everything is existing in, some, in nothing. In darkness. So basically darkness becomes the foundation of every single thing that exists on the face of the earth. Without darkness... Nothing can exist. Do you know that if you take the human face, right, no matter how light or dark you are, 
Mm? If you take the human face. Okay, dark people is, is a bit. But even dark people, if the shade of darkness does not surround our face, our face becomes very scary. You think I'm lying? Okay, let me paint a picture to you. When you shave off your eyebrows, huh? when you shave off your eyebrows, when you shave off your beard, you shave off your head, how would your face look like? Horrible, right? Try it. You can try it. Don't blame me for shaving off your eyebrow and all of that. But try it. When you have no hair, no hair around your face, how would your face look like? Exactly. Horrible, right? So what is giving your face that beautiful picture or that beautiful um, portrayal is what? The darkness. That's why when you even make apply makeup on your face, you give it foundation. You give it shadow. So it, it's the dark lining, the dark patches that you put on your face that throws out the makeup. So darkness is literally the foundation of everything that exists in our dimension. So how can anything exist without darkness? Are you understanding this? Like, I, I, today I, I want to support this because I realize that a lot of people are looking at me like, why are you saying this? and this? So I'm going to support everything I'm saying with a few scriptural verses. Okay, Let's go to 2 Samuel. 2 Samuel. Um, 2 Samuel 22. Okay. Let's read. So that you understand the things I say are basically what they adopted and copied in the Bible. So everything I'm saying is actually in the Bible. But if you don't believe everything I'm saying, then it means you literally don't believe in the very Bible you claim you have. You claim to be a Christian. So you don't believe in the very Bible you, you hold. So 2 Samuel 22. 10. What does it say? You can read your Bibles. 2 Samuel 22. 10, it says, He bowed the heavens also. Right? And came down. Darkness was under his feet. Oh. He came down. And when he came down, darkness is the elevator that brought him down. This is obvious to talk about the God of the Bible. The God of Israel. When this God came down, darkness is what... <laughs> Are you understand what I'm saying? Darkness was under his feet. Darkness carried him and brought him down. Is darkness evil? Do you even understand what darkness is? Let, Psalms. Let's open Psalms 18. Okay. Psalms 18. From verses 9. Psalm 18, verses 9. Um, let's read it. Psalms 18, verses 9. It says, He bowed the heavens also, and darkness came down, and darkness was under his feet. He rode upon the chariot and did fly. I won't continue. Read the 11. It says, He made darkness his sacred place. The God of the Bible, the God of Israel, made he made darkness his secret place. His pavilion ran about him where dark waters and thick clouds of the sky. The God of the Bible, the God of Israel, made darkness his secret place. And round about him was dark waters and dark clouds. Why are they telling you darkness is evil? Because they want you to understand that you cannot know the power. They don't want you to come close to the power that darkness has. That every secret is kept in darkness. The God of Israel is saying he made darkness his secret place. But yet you say Darkness is for the devil, Satan. Darkness is evil. So it means if darkness is for the devil and darkness is evil and the God of Israel is putting his secret in darkness, it means the God of Israel is putting his secrets in the devil. Read it. That's what the scripture is saying. The God of Israel keeps his secret with the devil. If that is your interpretation, darkness to be evil. The God of Israel hides his things in the dark realm, in the dark places, 
This is what you believe in? I didn't write the scripture. He made darkness his secret place. His pavilion ran about him where dark waters. You understand? Everything exists on the foundation of darkness. You need to understand. Darkness is created. Light is formed. Light is not created. Darkness huh, existed before every single thing else existed. The source of light is always limited. The source of light is not boundless, it's not endless, it's always limited. Every time you see light, it means there is something burning right or wrong. Have you ever seen the appearance of light that you never saw anything burn? Light appears only when something is burning. If something burns, it means that thing would stop burning eventually it can outburn itself when you light up a candle and you burn you know we light up candles in this place don't you see the candles going down all the time you see the candle gone burning out don't you see the candles burning out candles burn all the time you cannot have a candle that stays everlasting even the light bulbs you have in your house is burning out right or wrong the light bulb dies the electricity you have in your house gets finished, your prepaid gets even the dam, the water that propels the propellers at the dam, the water gets dry, right? Everything that burns eventually burns out. What does this mean? This means light has a limitation. Light has an expiration date to it. Have you ever seen, even your phone light, your phone, when you on the light on your phone, it dies out. The screen on your phone, when you turn it on, you are not doing anything on the screen. It goes out. Why? It's conserving energy. It's saving energy. Because it does not want to use that energy whenever. So light is not a sustainable entity. Light cannot be sustained by something has to burn for light to show up. Without anything burning, light cannot show up. Light cannot burn forever. Light is gained out of an activity of energy. So, if energy does not come into action, light does not exist. Are you understanding? If energy does not come into action, light does not exist. It's simple. So, light on itself cannot exist unless something is generated within you. Or something is generated within the light, light stream or the light force. Why was the light formed? Let's see Genesis 1. Today, like I said, you know, I usually don't use scripture because, I mean, we know it. But just for everybody else to understand what I'm saying. So I, I read the scripture sometimes. Let me read something to you. Genesis um, 1 from 14 to 19. Let me read, let's read it. And God said, let there be light in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night. So God said, let there be light. Light didn't exist. He said, let there be light. Light was created out of something to separate the day from the night. And let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. So the light that appears in the skies are for signs. They are constantly telling something. They don't need a special day, a special time for the stars and, and the light and, and the elements in the dimensions to be telling. Every day the moon is telling you something. The sun is telling you something. The stars is telling you something. You don't need a particular day. Okay, somebody would think I'm hitting on it. Let me just move away from this. Let me just move away from it. Let me continue. And let them be for light in the feminine firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth so the purpose of light is to tell the times 
is to tell the seasons, is to tell the period, is to provide light. That's the purpose light are created. Light, whether you want to believe it or not, is not giving you life. <laughs> Have you ever seen a plant grow during the afternoon before? Most plants, most things, you go to sleep, you come back, they've grown than they used to be. You want to talk about what gives life? Let me continue. And God made two great lights, and a greater light to rule the day, and a lesser light to rule the night. And God said in the firmament, that what? Of the heavens to give light. And God set them in the firmament of the heavens to give light upon the earth. And to rule over the day and over the night. And to divide the light from darkness. And God saw it was good. And the evening and the morning came. So therefore, people should even know when it's evening and when it's morning and when the day starts anyway. So God saw that this thing was good. It was, it, was perfect. it was doing its work. It was giving light and all of that. It was doing its work. But then again, in the very Bible, it tells you that there's coming a day that the sun will not burn anymore. The moon will not shine anymore. All these lights will burn out. Even in the Bible. So everything that produces light eventually dies out, dies away. So light is created to give signs. It's, it's like a signage, a directory, a billboard, a posting. Light are basically directing, showing you this is where it's located in the dark. This is where this is located. So light is mapping you through the dark. It doesn't mean that light is overpowered. Light cannot overpower the dark. Psalm 139.2. Let's read it. Psalm 139.2. Psalm 139.2. Come on, let's read it. Let's read it. Are you ready? Um, Psalm 139.2. Yes. I'm almost there. Mm -hmm. What does it say? Where did this? 12. Yes. Okay. Psalm 139.12. Yea, the darkness hideth not from thee, but in the night, but the night shineth as day, and darkness as the light are both let me, but the night shineth as day. Darkness and the light are both alike to thee. It means in the eyes of the creator, darkness is not dark. Darkness is light. In the eyes of darkness is light in the eyes of the creator. So we call it darkness because we've been programming why to think that okay, this is this is da 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 da. But let me not even say the creator, the God of the Bible. The sun, as we know, is a greater source of light, whether we like it or not. But when you just lift up, okay, let me show you something. Let me use the light, right? Okay. So let's say the light that I'm using is the sun, the greatest source of light. I can just block the sun or the light that I'm using with just one hand. Okay? Just one hand. So, the sun with all its might and all its power and what have you, the sun can be stopped by one hand. When you raise your hand up, it stops the sun from... And you understand what I'm saying? The most potent and powerful source of light can just be blocked by one hand from a distance. One hand. And this light cannot penetrate through the hand. When you lift up your hand, you can do with this experiment in the day when the sun is up. When this blocks the... Do you see the shadow that it leaves behind? The shadow that it casts behind? The minute you raise your, your hand to the sun, shadow come. What is shadow? Darkness. Darkness. Where did the dark appear from? Meaning the dark did not go anywhere. The darkness did not vanish. 
Darkness is all over. Cannot be consumed. Just one hand to the sun. Shadow casts on you. What is shadow? Darkness. Long darkness. Even when you stand, you see a shadow fall. Right? It means where you are, the angle you're standing from, the sun cannot shine to cover that ground. You need to understand that darkness is everywhere. <laughs> There's not a single place in the entire existence that darkness is not. Light is not everywhere. So in religion, they tell you God is everywhere. How many presents? God is everywhere. So what are they telling you literally? That God is darkness. Because God is everywhere and darkness is everywhere. So God is literally dark. But they can't tell you that. They can't let you accept that. Because the minute you begin to understand that God is just darkness. Darkness is the power of the creator. The minute you begin to understand that. Then you will begin to look at yourself differently. You will look at you. Wait, 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 wait a minute. If darkness is everywhere. Then it means. God is everywhere. God is darkness. And if I am a dark person, if I'm in a dark image, I can literally exist anywhere on the face of the earth. But it's not everybody that can exist everywhere on the face of the earth. Are you understand what I'm saying? There's an ability in you that can allow you to exist anywhere else in the world. There are some people when they exist in certain places, they will die out of cancer because of the sun rays. What is everywhere? Darkness is everywhere. Darkness is God. You can exist everywhere. You are God. Because they can't. You know how funny it is. They say divine light. Divine. Nobody has ever said divine darkness. Mm. Something that is everywhere. Nobody can call it divine. But something that is not everywhere, we call it divine. They cannot call it divine darkness because the minute you hear divine darkness, you will look at your life differently. You want to say, what? What are you saying? I'm divine? That's what I'm telling you. This is the mystery of darkness that you must not know. You are an everyday representative of the power of the creator. You, a dark black man. Woman, of course. I'm not leaving out my women. I don't want any trouble with my women. Let me conclude by saying, light has no power. Light cannot sustain itself. For light to appear, Something has to burn. Darkness don't need anything to help it exist. The creator does not need anything or anyone. Or body does not need. I told you last week, go and look at the last video, last week's video. Or body, the creator does not need anyone to help it exist. Does not need anyone to encourage it to exist. Darkness, on the other hand, need light on the other hand, needs something to help it exist. Darkness does not need anything or anyone. Because darkness is the source of power. Light does not have any power. That is why darkness is everywhere. That is why God, the creator, is everywhere. That is why you exist everywhere on the face of the earth. Have a great evening. I love you guys. Please make sure you send a like to make sure you pass a comment. I like I, now I'm I'm really lately I'm really enjoying the comment. So please watch it and pass your comment and listen. I love you guys. Mwah. Tell your friend to tell your friend to tell your friend we are gathering. We are gathering. We we're not hiding. We are gathering. Darkness is everywhere. Meaning, we exist in multiple dimensions that they cannot even begin to comprehend. That's why they cannot understand the spirituality of our fathers. Let me leave it here. I love you guys. See you soon.